Hello, I'm Riley, and this is our ModCon final project. Hi, this is Mindy's Corner, and I am here to explain to you a few things that you will need to know before we start building our circuit. So in our circuit, we have two weird things that we did not go over in ModCon this semester. So one of them is transistors, not very ModCon-y. And transistors work by taking an input that goes into the C portion right here, and then emitting it through this bottom portion, with, which is written with a little triangle. And what turns this on and off, it's basically like a switch, is this third input here. And then another weird thing that we learned building this circuit is a diode which is drawn like the LED because a LED is a light emitting diode and I did not know that before. So, a diode basically allows current to flow one way and not another way, so if you have an op amp producing a square wave, it basically cuts off all the negative or all the positive from that square wave. On to the next thing. So this is our white noise generator and this is part of the circuit that's going to make our snare sound in our beatbox. So our white noise generator basically has two important things, which are these two transistors right here. And then this transistor right here acts like a Zener diode, which basically does funny things to the white noise to make it white noise. Moving on. Over here is where our white noise, if you actually read it with a scope, you will see the white noise, which is just fuzzy white noise. This right here is our non-inverting amplifier, which doubles the amplitude of the white noise that we have over here. So that just goes out there. And then down here is our bass noise. So all of this makes our bass. And then this is basically a hysteretic oscillator with using a TLO. And it goes through these two low-pass filters to soften the sound. And then that sound from over here gets passed through this non-inverted amplifier and that also doubles the amplitude. We then take those two signals and feed them through two speakers connected through two MOSFET transistors into ground. And we have some LEDs, which may or may not work to show what it's doing. The transistors are acting like switches, and we control them in a pretty funky way over on that end of the board. We start with a hysteretic oscillator and take the capacitor voltage, or shark wave. We feed that through a buffer, and then split the signal to two comparators. The first comparator takes a look at the shark wave and compares it to a two and a half volt straight signal. And whenever the shark wave gets above two and a half volts, we get, uh, it rails high, and when it's below, it rails low. So we get a square wave that looks like this. The other comparator use, takes that same shark wave and compares it to a negative two and a half volt signal. Now this one's flipped around from the other one so that when the shark wave dips below two and a half volts, we get a, a rail high in the comparator. So it looks like this. And that's how we get our offset signals. But there's one issue with that, and that is that zero volts is about here on the circuit. And so we run that through a diode so that anything negative doesn't work and to effectively bring these up. And both of them work like that. We then feed both those signals all the way down across and over to the two transistors and we get uh, alternating bass snare sounds coming out of the circuit. And that's pretty much how it works.